This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this simple lightning bolt logo where the lightning bolt is made out of the negative space of the circle using Inkscape. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So I'll minimize this and we'll get started. The first thing I'm going to do here in Inkscape is make sure that the view is set to custom and then I'm going to zoom in at one to one. And by the way, if you'd like to make Inkscape appear dark and with this custom icon set, as you see here on my screen, I will have a link to that information in the description of the video. Uh, okay, so once we've done that, we're gonna open up our uh, fill and stroke dialog with that button right there. And the first thing we're going to do is create a circle. So let's come over to the circles and ellipses tool. And I'm just gonna hold control and shift on the keyboard and click and drag on the canvas to create uh, a circle like that, a perfectly round circle. And I'm gonna take the opacity of this and drop this in half. And let's come back to the select tool. Let's go over to the select tool and I'm gonna change the width of this. But first I'm gonna put I'm gonna turn on this lock icon. Let's turn that on and we're gonna change the width of that to 275. So just hit 275, 275 pixels like that. And that's pretty good. And let's convert this to a path by going to path, object to path. And we can put this off to the side for now. We're gonna come back to that in a minute. And the next, the next thing we're going to do is create a square. So let's come over to the squares and rectangles tool. Hold control and shift in the keyboard and click and drag to create a perfectly symmetrical square like that. And I'm going to make this one, I'm going to make this red. And I'll come back to the uh, select tool. And for the width of this, I'm just going to change this to 150. 150 and hit enter. And then I'm going to convert this to a path by going to path, object to path. And then what I'm gonna do is with this selected, I'm gonna come over here to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. And I'm gonna click and drag over this node right here and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And then I'm gonna click and drag over that node and then hold shift in the keyboard and click and drag over that node so we have both of those nodes selected right there. And with, those bo with both of those nodes selected, I'm going to uh, click the button that says Make Selected Nodes Corner. And it's gonna turn that into like a little triangle like that. Then we come back to the Select tool we can right click that and go to duplicate. And then we can flip that vertically and horizontally. And then click and drag over both of those. And we're actually gonna need our Align to Distribute menu. So let's open up the Align to Distribute menu with this button right here. And make sure you have last selected chosen from this drop down. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click this button to the bottom left that says align bottom edges of the objects to the top edge of the anchor, like that. And then I'll click this button that says align right edges of the objects to the left edge of the anchor like that. So we end up with this little uh, shape like that. And then once we've done that, we can close out of the align and distribute menu. And I'm going to take this and put this over here. Let's click off of that to deselect everything. And then I'm going to click on just this bottom part right here and hold control and just click and drag this over to the left. Maybe about that much. And this is going to make our lightning bolt shape that we're going to use for the center of the logo here. And once you have a position like that, we can go ahead and click and drag over both of those objects and go to Path, Union. And then I'm gonna click on this a second time to get the rotation handles. And I'm gonna take this top handle up here, but first I'm gonna hold down Control on the keyboard. And I'm gonna take this top handle and slide this to the right two or three steps. I think it's three. Let me see how it looks. One, two, hold on. One, two, three. Like that, yeah, that's pretty good. So bring it three steps to the right, and then we could hold shift and click on the circle tool, click on the circle object, and actually we're gonna need the align and distribute menu again. Let me open that up again, the align and distribute menu. I didn't think I would need it for this tutorial, apparently I was wrong. Uh, center on the vertical axis, and then center on the horizontal axis, and then we can click off of it to deselect everything. And I'm just gonna leave that open for now. Let me come over here, and the next thing we're going to do is click on this, um, this red lightning bolt and we're gonna right click that and go to duplicate and I'm gonna turn that blue and I'm going to lower that one step beneath the red lightning bolt so I'll click on this button that says lower selection one step just like that and then we'll come over to the edit paths by nodes tool and I want to select these two nodes here on the right and left edges so let me click and drag over that node and then I'll hold shift and click and drag over that node so we have both of those two nodes selected and none of the other nodes and then up here, this is going to be this button that says Show Transformation Handles for Selected Nodes. We're going to want that turned on. And once you do that, there's going to be these little scaling arrows that appear next to the node. You can't really see it. But um, just hover the cursor over those arrows. 
and then hold control and shift and just click and drag to pull this out maybe about that far maybe a little further like that that's pretty good and then we can go back to the select tool and click on this red uh, lightning bolt graphic and we're gonna right click that and go to duplicate and we'll turn this green and then hold control and shift in the keyboard and grab one of these one of these arrows and just click and drag this out about that much maybe about that far that's pretty good and then once we've done that we can take this blue shape right here and we could right click that and go to duplicate then hold shift in the keyboard and click on the green object and go to path difference so we end up with something like this and the next thing we're going to do is let's um let's hold shift in the keyboard and click on the black circle so we have the green object and the black circle selected and go to path difference so we end up with something like this and what we're going to do now is let's click off of that to deselect everything. The next step is I want to get rid of these. Um, you, you notice the blue shape here. You see where the edges are sticking out from the circle? I want to get rid of those two points on the horizontal plane that are sticking out from the circle. So let's go to the Bezier pen. You can just press B on the keyboard to grab that. And I'm going to draw a shape starting here and then here and then going around the outside of that tail right there so I can get rid of that piece. And I'm going to do the same thing again over here. I'll start this right here and click. Put this here, click, and then just bring it around the outside like that. And we'll go back to the select tool. I'm going to hold shift in the keyboard and click on the other shapes so we have them both selected. And we'll unify them together by going to path, union, and then hold shift and click on the blue shape and go to path, difference. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is hold shift in the keyboard and click on the black circle so we have the blue shape and the black circle selected and go to path union and you can see it's starting to take shape here it's starting to look like how this looks like here uh, we just have a couple of more steps uh, let me zoom in on this a little bit I'm gonna press plus in the keyboard a few times like that and what I'm gonna do now is with this black shape selected I'm gonna come over to the edit paths by nodes tool and I'm gonna click on the button uh, that's up here that says snap to cusp nodes. I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to take this node right here and just snap it into the corner of the red shape right there like that. And I'll take this node and do the same thing. Just snap that into the corner of the red shape like that. And then we go back to the select tool. I'll press one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100% and then hold shift on the keyboard and click on the red lightning bolt and go to path difference. And then finally, we can click on this a second time to get the rotation handles and just hold control, and grab one of these corner arrows and just rotate it around one or two steps. One step like that, that's pretty good. And then we can bring the opacity of this. Let me come down here, bring the opacity all the way up and we can color this in however we'd like. We are now finished with our lightning bolt logo. So uh, that's how you can do that with Inkscape. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.